guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alia if you were new here. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, or I guess by the title, I am going to be reviewing a curly clip-in hair extension brand. Now, if you are part of the curly girl community, you know that it is almost impossible to find any curly clip-in hair extensions that are actually good quality. A lot of times when you are searching curly clip-in hair extensions, you get websites popping up like Alibaba and all these other websites from China where the hair just isn't good quality. A lot of times it's really thin, it's really stringy, it doesn't hold its curl once you wash it, or the texture and curl pattern simply just isn't right for your hair in general. So with that being said, I have searched far and wide to come upon a brand of curly clip-in hair extensions to review for you guys so that you don't have to. <laughs> I have tried a plethora of different curly hair extension brands over the years, some of the cheaper ones that are from the Chinese websites, some that I've paid quite a bit of money for, but nothing really ever ended up working for my hair. The biggest issue for me was always trying to find something with the correct curl pattern. And if you don't know your curl pattern, I'll pop up a chart right here so that you can kind of get an idea of what curl pattern your curls are. Mine happen to be 3A curls, so they're kind of like those like bigger, not super tight, but not super loose curls. Anyways, enough of the intro rambling. If you are new here, I would really appreciate if you consider subscribing to my channel. It is completely free, and if you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe later. But I hope you won't. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you're notified every single time I upload a video. Now, without further ado, Let's get on into it. So the brand we are talking about today is Babonia. Now I initially discovered this brand, I believe through Instagram. I came across them, I clicked on their page and I immediately realized it was a clip-in curly hair extension brand. So I was super excited about that. They have about 20,000 followers on Instagram. I think they're a bit of a newer brand. Like I think they said 2017, so they're not like really that big on the map yet. So from there, I went to their website through their link on their Instagram and I immediately noticed it says free shipping in US and Canada. The next thing that I noticed is as I was scrolling down, they have different types of hair extensions depending on the type of curls you have. So they have spiral, curly, ringlet, and then they have the clip-in curly ponytail. So I went to spiral because that looked the most like 3A curls. And as you are scrolling down, you see you get your choice of color here. So I kind of played around with the natural black and the dark brown. And I decided natural black was probably closer to my hair. And then this is where it's really important, thickness. And if you've ever ordered extensions offline from like random sketchy brands, you will notice that the thickness is usually not there. They're usually really thin, stringy, they just doesn't match in with your hair properly. So that's what's really important. And for me, I always choose 220 grams if that is the option. I never do anything below 200 grams because it just does not match in with my hair at all, even with straight hair extensions. I just don't like it. And then you have the choice of length. I like my hair real long, like waist length long, if possible. So I always pick the highest. I always go to 22 inches, even with straight extensions. And then I go ahead and I just add that to my cart. So when you go to checkout, you will notice the price, depending on what you go with. For me, I paid $319 and it was free shipping because I had it shipped to my mom who lives in the United States. And then she then shipped it here to me, so it took a little bit longer. And that is pretty expensive, but if you are spending money to get good quality hair extensions, this is going to be kind of like the base price for really any of the main websites. So that's the next topic that I wanna to get to is they don't seem to ever offer any kind of sale. And a lot of times when you're like a newer company or you're not that popular yet, you usually wanna like entice your customer by offering some sort of like different promotions and things like that. So months and months back, I signed up for their mailing list because they said you get special deals, things like that. This was probably like over six months ago and I wanted to really wait because I wanted to be able to get some sort of discount on these if at all possible. And that literally never once happened in the six months that I've been subscribed to their mail list. I have never seen any sort of sale happen. And to me that was kind of annoying because the other brands I buy from, like again, like I said, Bellamy, they are always doing some sort of sale to kind of like get their customers in. You can get really good deals if you pay attention to their website or you're on their mailing list. Obviously that still wasn't enough to like stop me from buying them. I was gonna purchase them either way. I just really wanted to wait a good amount of time because I wanted to be able to provide as much information 
as I could in this video. So if you go back to their main homepage, you can scroll down past the different types of hair extensions they offer. And I just talk a bit about why you should go with their brand. They have a little video on YouTube here that they put together on just like how the extensions transform your hair, how to blend them, how to wash them. So it's good that they provide that information on their page because then you can go back and refer to it if you have any questions or you're not really sure what exactly to do. And then they also have just their regular tabs where they have videos, all that type of stuff, blog, about us. The about us tab just talks about their story. So I was right, they were created in 2017. And it just talks about where their name came from and their vibe and things like that. So that's also kind of interesting to know. I always like to kind of like read backstories, especially on smaller brands, because I do like to support smaller brands because one day I do hope to have my own brand and I would like people to give me that chance as well. So probably six months ago or so, back when I signed up for the man list, I did reach out to them and I asked if they would be interested in doing a collab for a YouTube video on my channel. At this time, I noticed they didn't really have a big presence on YouTube. They had their own like 30 second, two minute videos just showing you a little bit about their hair extensions, but they didn't have like a big channel. They didn't have a ton of people filming videos or anything like that for them. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to kind of like get their name out there more as well. And for some reason, hair videos, especially curly hair videos, seem to do really well on my channel. You guys seem to like them. So I thought, hey, why not? So I reached out, I told them a little bit about myself. I sent them some of the videos I've done in the past, different collabs I've done with other brands, my other hair videos that I have on my channel. And they replied about like a month later and said they were not interested in collaborating. Obviously, I'm still doing the video anyway. And as usual, I am always going to be completely honest because $320 is a lot of money and I don't want you to waste your money because that coin is precious, especially during this pandemic. So this is the hair that I have here. And as you can see, I did get the spiral set. This is a 220 grams, 22 inches in the off black color, I believe it is. It was like not the jet black, but it was like the next step down. So it's definitely very thick. It's thick all the way down. Perfect curl pattern. I think this is going to match my curl pattern almost exactly. So I'm really excited about that. But what I'm also really excited about is the fact that this texture is literally the same texture as my hair. It's very like soft, like baby soft, like my hair, is pretty fine especially like now for some reason i don't know i just cut it so it looks a little better but it's very like baby soft fine i have enough of it where i'm not like balding but it's definitely on the softer fine side and what i've noticed about some of the extensions that i have purchased in the past they tend to be more coarse it's more of that african hair which is great for all the girls who have that hair texture and nothing wrong with that but it's just really hard to find curly hair extensions for like a more like, I don't know, soft hair texture, if that makes any sense. So uh, I have bought lots of curly hair extensions in the past and that has been one of the major struggles is that it's just not the right texture. And if it is, it doesn't hold the curl pattern because it's not actually naturally curly hair. It is hair that has been straightened and somehow chemically curled, but then after a couple washes, the curl just falls out and it becomes like very like, barely a wave to it. So that's annoying too. <laughs> so another thing I wanted to do before I filmed this video was wash the hair extensions, get them wet, see if they hold their curl pattern, which they did. So they bounce completely right back. They look exactly like they did when I got them out. Actually, they look better than when I got them out because they were obviously rolled up in the packaging and that of course will like kind of bend and crimp the hair a bit. So I did wash all of them and let them air dry and they bounced right back perfectly. So I'm very happy about that. So you do not have to worry about them losing their curl pattern when you wash them. So now let's talk about how many clip-ins I have here. These are nine separate clip-in extensions. It comes with two four weft clips like this. And then it actually comes with five of the three weft clips. So that's the other nice thing about these extensions is a lot of companies don't really think about how many like clips they're going to put on there. They'll do like two of the four clips, two of these, of the three clips, two of the two clips, and then you get like these two little like one clip ones, like really what the heck am I gonna do with that? I've never used them before, they're just pointless. So that's really nice that they actually are giving you a good amount of hair 
It makes it much easier to blend in the hair. Blending curly hair is already a challenge in the first place. And then lastly, you get two of the two wefts. So I love to use these usually like right in the front at the top. They're easy to hide and they still have a good amount of hair so it blends in great with your natural hair. Also, the clips seem to be good quality. They don't seem like they're going to fall apart or anything like that. So why don't we start throwing these extensions in and we can see how they match in with my natural curls. So I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and start with one of the four wefts and I'm gonna do that on the lower part of my hair. I always hate separating my hair when it's curly because it pulls apart the curls and it can create frizz. And my hair is kind of just overall a little dry and damaged in general. And there's a lot of new hair growing in. So I have all of these really annoying little fuzzy pieces that don't do me any favors. And I like to use a lot of hair. I like big, crazy lion hair that's like probably a hundred times too big for my body. Obviously, I'm not gonna use every single piece in this extension set because that would be way too much hair. But I like having the option of, if I wanna do different hairstyles, I have different weft sizes so I can kind of play around with it. So I'm using the next four weft here. Now I'm gonna be using one of the three wefts and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be putting that closer to the front of my head over that four weft just above it. And this is going to start helping blend in the front of my hair. Now obviously if you mess up your curls and you end up with like fuzz like this, you can go in with some product after and fix them. Or you can even use a curling wand if you don't mind a little heat. Sometimes that's what I do because the curling wand gives me perfect 3A curls anyway, so I don't mind that. And then I'm going to go in on the same side with a two weft clip in. And this one is going to go again just above that three. And then just the same thing on the other side. Now obviously depending on like your length or your hair cut or style, you can do it any way you want. I just bluntly cut my hair straight across. I don't layer it or anything like that. So it is a little harder for me to blend extensions in because I don't have any sort of layers going on. Okay, so this is the final result. I think it matches in really well. The curls match in perfectly with my natural curl pattern, which is so fantastic to see because like I said, the struggle is real with that. I did just cut my hair about like two inches the other day, so it is a bit like shorter and more blunt than it normally would be. So when it grows out, it'll look even better when it kind of fills in the bottom part here a little more. But overall, I'm really impressed. I think that they look really good. They're really good quality. They're nice and thick. And I don't feel like if I was just walking down the street and you didn't know me that you would question whether or not my hair is real. I do still have three wefts left over and these are all of the three clip. So I can use these depending on if I'm doing some sort of like updo and I don't want like so many four clips in there or I just want like less hair. I wanted to use as many as I could today just to show you like the most exaggerated effect. So overall, I'm really happy with the results. I definitely recommend Babonia Curly Hair Extensions. I think they are 100% worth the money and they are great quality. And if you live in the United States or Canada, you get free shipping, so that's a plus for you. So that is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below if there are any other brands you want me to review, whether it is hair or products or it could be completely unrelated to this video just anything at all and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out if you enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching